So Andrew, you're our security expert here, and we're going to demonstrate the man in the middle attack. Before you do that, though, could you just describe how did you get this software? How available is it? Sure. So the software we're using today, it's, cool. it's free, commonly available. It's an open source tool, uh, and anyone can download it off the internet. So Andrew, what is a man in the middle attack exactly? So the man in the middle attack is when I, as the attacker, get in between you and the internet. I can see and modify any communication that you have uh, with any site on the internet. I'm impersonating you to the router, and I'm impersonating the router to you. So show me how a man-in-the-middle attack works. All right. So this is the attacker's laptop, and it is in a man-in-the-middle position between the user laptop and the internet. Mm -hmm. uh, so it sees all the content that flows between this computer and the internet. So if you um, browse to um, this, this news website here, and so you'll see some requests routing through my computer. And uh, up on your screen, um, you just got a very disconcerting uh, warning message. Yeah, it says, alert, your session has expired. Please enter your email and password. Yeah, and so that looks... Uh, Did you do that? That is all content that came from my computer. Ugh. So if I enter my email and my password, uh, you're going to see it. Exactly. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Okay. So I'm logging my credentials in right now, and, and then and what if happens? We, and if we look on my computer screen, the attacker's screen, what do you see right there? Oh no, that's what I just entered. My email address and my password is clearly visible on your screen. So now I have your username and password for this site, which means that I could impersonate you on this site, get access to anything you've posted, any internal messages you might have sent. Uh, but even worse than that, if you've reused these credentials on any other site, uh, your email, your bank, anywhere else, I could potentially um, access those accounts as well. So if I use the same password for multiple accounts, you're saying you could get into others of my account? That's right? correct. Yeah. What is the red flag that I should be watching for here? I mean, I get these pop-up screens from time to time, sure. and they seem innocent enough. Sometimes they're real. They're not always like a man in the middle attack. Right. How, sh how could I, what's the red flag to look for here? The most common way you'll know you're being attacked is if you try to access um, a secure website, so a website using HTTPS, and your browser gives you a warning. So the different browsers will throw up different styles of warnings, um, but, uh, but you'll see some sort of a message saying that the connection was not able to be completed, and it will ask you, it may even tell you that it's not safe to proceed, but will ask you if you want to proceed. You generally shouldn't proceed. Okay, great. Well, thank you.